Green beer? Yes, green beer. And I'm not even joking. It's Bira Klotter from Berlin in Germany. We have a bottle of the Berliner Kindleweiss Waldemeister coming in at 3% ABV. Now, um, this beer, this is a Berlin of ice, right? Okay, um, traditional Berlin of ice, which is famous in, in Berlin. It's sort of a, sort of a crispy, sort of sour, light ABV sort of beer. Very, very refreshing. And this is a, apparently a traditional Berlin of ice. Um, 90, 98.8% of it is a traditional Berlin of ice. And what they've actually added is 1.2% of a Woodruff flavoured syrup. So basically it's a Berlin of ice with a syrup added. So without further ado, let's crack this, let's crack this open and let's get it into the glass and let's give it a review. I do like a Berlin of ice. It's, it's, it's one of the styles which is a low ABV style that I quite like. So let's get it into the glass. Oh my god! <laughs> How bonkers is that? How bonkers is that? Whoa, look at that for a beer! Yes, that's a beer. First impressions. It's hazy, a luminous green. It's actually a luminous green with a lovely two finger, white tight, frothy head. Let's get the aromas. Oh my word. Candied sugar, lemons, sourness. I'm getting some vanilla there. Um, smells like Haribo sours. Um, especially being this colour, this green colour, it actually smells like Haribo sours. Definitely, when you open up the, like a, a packet or a, one of them tubs of Haribo Tantastic Sour things. That's what you're getting. But this is bonkers. It looks like, it looks like my, it looks like, it looks like fair, fairy washing up liquid, doesn't it? it? Looks like washing up liquid, fairy, that green colour. Washing up detergent. It's bonkers, isn't it? How bonkers is the colour of that beer? <laughs> it's like, it's like I, <laughs> it's like I'd like to have the original here and actually compare this in, in the original, which I might actually do at a later date. But let's, 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 let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. With this bonkers, crazy coloured beer. It's, um, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, the taste of that is just crazy. It 
Chase. Chase the sort of candied apples. Apple sours. Very, very sugary. Very, very apple soury. I don't know if I like it, to be honest. I like Berliner Weisses, but... It's very, very sugary. I think that's what lets it down, in my opinion. It's... I like this... This candied apple sour vibe that this beer has got. I don't like. It's like you filled your mouth up with sugar. It's literally like you've got one of them sugar things like they have in like cafes, you know, where you do with a spout thing on and you tip it and it's panty measures out a, a teaspoon every time. It's like you've got one of them and you've just got one and you go, I'm pumping this sugar down your mouth. It is highly, highly sugary. And because of that, the sugar takes over, this sweetness takes over the, the, the apple sour, the candied apple sour that this beer's got, which is quite good. And it's, it's a shame, really, that the, 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 the sugariness overpowers the sourness. Because if this we had the sourness to this beer, that would be lovely. It would be really top-notch. It's just too sugary, too sugary, too sweet. Yeah. What a shame. What a damn shame. And the more you drink it, it's more artificially sweet. A bit... Oh. I'm a bit taken back, really, but, you know, we've got this... Bonkers green coloured beer here, and it is bonkers in colour. And it just doesn't live up to the expectation. Oh, as soon as it come out, I was expecting some sort of like, I like Berlin of Ices. Berlin of Ices is nice. You know, I've, I've reviewed it. I, you know, I do like Berlin of Ice. <laughs> and I like the one, but, um, well, it was Ick Bin Berlin of Ice, which is made by uh, McKellar, bring out an Ick Bin Berlin of Ice, which is a, a raspberry type um, style Berlin of Ice, which is really, really nice. So when it's come out, I was expecting it to go, oh, this is going to be a flavour explosion in, in my mouth. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be crazy, just like the colour of the beer. And it's not. It's a disappointment. It's a letdown. Um, I got this from the, the House of Trembling Madness. I won't buy it again. A novelty, a novelty beer to be able to sort of put on Instagram and say, "Yeah, well, I've had a, I've had a green beer." You know, that's all that will happen here. Um, it's a shame because it's a nice looking beer. It's keeping its head well. You know, it looks looks the part, um, but it's not sadly. So look, if you want to go and buy yourself a bottle of this. Buy yourself a bottle of, with it, of it. Try it. You know, don't let me put me off. Make your own opinion, right? <laughs> Try it. See what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>